Uh, I am joined by one part, uh, Future of the Left, uh, who are just off stage here, cut the transmission. How do you feel it went? It was all right. We enjoyed playing. It, it did feel a little bit sterile on stage, must be said. Why so? Uh, just the, the crowd, um, some of the crowd were interested, uh, more of the crowd were disinterested, you know. But, you know, that, that's, that's the way it goes. Not everybody enjoys lint chocolate, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't take it personally until the point where I, where I do. But it was, it was okay. I, it didn't, didn't fill our hearts with pixie magic. Uh, this is not, is this your first time? Surely not your first time playing Derry or Northern Ireland? I played um, Derry once before about five years ago or something. I forget the name of the venue. But we did three shows, the Belfast, Dublin, and then uh, came to Derry. And a lot of people, obviously, a little bit taken sometimes with the traditional idea of Ireland. But I remember pulling up outside the venue, which was located on a cobbled street, starting to load the stuff out the back of the van. The first thing we saw is a little boy carrying a pail of water up the hill, which was just precious, you know. Um, that show I remember, I, the main thing I remember about that show is there were lots of problems with power, as in we kept playing and the power kept uh, cutting out. Do you remember that, Jack? Many years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was all right, you know. People are very friendly here, just a bit bemused, you know. Mm. What is your most bemusing qualities then? Our most bemusing qualities? I just don't think we're always exactly what people are expecting, you know? Um, and by that I don't mean like Captain Beefheart or a cure for the AIDS virus. I just mean within the format of a rock band it's probably skewed about 21% from what they'd probably imagine, you know? What was it like getting here? How was your travel situation? Uh, well, for once we got to fly from Cardiff and we're based in Cardiff, so... It was uh, a relatively short uh, journey. it have been very kind to put us up in a very nice hotel. So our travel uh, situation was, was pleasant and completely removed from any kind of problems. Tell us your connection with uh, the finding with wire lots. Uh, well, we toured with them in, I forget the year, because, because everything outside of um, a time in prison just merges into one. I've never actually been in prison. That was a, a hilarious kind of caveat. Um, we toured with them and it was nice and they were nice people. And um, that, that's as far as the connection goes, really. I don't have any, um, I don't have any pictures of, of Kaha, um interfering with you know, a succession of willing goats. I don't have any um, of Craig's early diaries where he admits to a, a lingering love of American glam rock bands such as Love, Stroke, Hate. Um, How did they co coerce you over? Did they offer you any sort of rewards or have something on you, bribing you over? No, they said, do you want to do it? And this is how much it'll be. And uh, we promise you'll be treated with the respect befitting your relatively mediocre status and it uh, it worked and it was all good. You guys have uh, got a tour coming up, is that right? Uh, we have, yeah, in mainland UK, uh, like, yeah, let's just say we got we got 12 shows in November following the release of our next record. Fantastic. Cheers. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Thank you very much. <laughs>